News right now on CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. And that breaking news right now, a deputy involved shooting in Rancho Cucamonga. This is a live picture from the scene. We're told deputies were searching for a vehicle after a stop in a parking lot at Foothill in Rochester here when another car drove towards them, pinning one of the deputies against the car. Yeah, we're told that driver then allegedly came at the deputy with a knife. That's when one of the deputies then opened fire, we're told. The suspect was taken to the hospital, but we don't know the extent of his injuries. The deputies had injuries to his leg and went to the hospital for treatment. Well, good evening. I'm Leslie Marine. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. Now at 11 and streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. Hot and getting hotter. Forget fall. We're talking triple digit temperatures in some spots. Yeah, CBS 2's meteorologist Evelyn Taft is tracking it all, including some heat watches and warnings, right, Ev? But I'm taking a look. Uh, that oh, those are the yes, tropical storms. And, and we're right? gonna we're gonna talk about the heat. We've got two things going on. It's a busy night for us here in Southern California, so we're gonna get to the southeast. But like you you mentioned we're going to get right to the heat so let's get right to it let's get to current temperatures because it's still so warm outside right now you'll see 77 in Burbank 70 in Pasadena 76 in Ontario 79 in San Bernardino and 88 very warm degrees in Palm Springs as we go look at our watches and warnings we've got heat advisories yep and we've got excessive heat warnings remaining in effect through 8 p.m. and that is 8 p.m. Not tomorrow, not the next day, not the day after that, but Wednesday. So we've got multiple days of excessive heat heading our way. We're going to show you exactly how hot it's going to get. And of course, as we just saw, we are also tracking both Fiona and Ian. A lot going on in the southeast and in the North Atlantic. Details on that in just a little bit and the rest of our forecast. But for now, Ross and Leslie, back to you. Evelyn, thanks so much. Coming up at 11, the candidates for L.A. mayor trying to shore up support and reach out to undecided voters where they hit the campaign trail today. And we are getting a look outside right now. Downtown, the heat is on. We've got heat watches and warnings already going into effect. We'll break it all down next. And in sports, USC trailed in the final minutes tonight, but were they able to put together a game-winning drive against Oregon State? We have Chris Harry and Kristen Smith in, and they have more coming up on Sports Central. Is there something that CBS2 News should investigate? Call the CBS2 Investigates tip line at 818-655-2442 or email your tip to cbs2investigates at cbs.com. A local museum today unveiling an historically significant monument. It's a sacred book of names memorializing more than 125,000 Japanese Americans who were forced to relocate to U.S. internment camps during World War II. Today's ceremony took place on the grounds of the Japanese American National Museum in Little Tokyo. Survivors of the internment camps also took part in this event. The sacred book of names will now be part of a new monument inside of the museum. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. Of course, we're always on streaming 24-7 on CBS News Los Angeles. Sports Central up next. We're back at 5 a.m. with CBS Sunday morning.